watching a video made by Cody Corsa. Please enjoy. So hey, I'm going to show you how to build a squirrel hunting feeder. This is for small game purposes. It will help you be able to shoot squirrels and pest animals in enclosed areas with minimal damage and minimal worry about back stopping. This is kind of the final product. You get the feeding stations you're going to have the squirrels on. I have a couple of holes drilled here that are going to be used to attach this to a tree. And as you can see, there's a feeder hole right there to put out the grain. And now I'm going to show you how you turn, you turn these pieces of wood into this. So let's get started. This is just for lining up purposes. I'm going to set this on top of here. You can use a bench or whatever you want here. This is just to mark out where the holes are going to go to hold this thing on. screws which are a pretty basic wood screw and get them started in the hole line up the board so it's parallel with everything else I'm gonna do it on the other end just to sync it up I recommend four boards over the whole back of this just so that four screws over the whole back of the screw, you get good stability. Once you get those two in, then you just sink two more in. And I have the backstop. Let's set this aside for now. I'll show you what I need to do with that. These pieces are going to be the lid. I'm just using the blocks now. This is going to be your box. I've already pre-measured the thickness of the bottom board so that I don't have any room in front for the squirrels to get in front of because the plywood isn't going to stop a bullet and you're just going to put holes in your feed box. But this 2x4 should stop low velocity 22 rounds and pellet. So, first thing I'm going to do, just for lining up purposes, again, I have marked these boards side, side, and front. First thing I'm going to do with the side boards is set up my blocks and drill the feeder hole. I'm going to put this pretty close to the bottom using a one inch paddle bit. Set that there, and just kind of put it dead center. And then you get that. This is going to be what the feed flows out of and what the squirrel is going to be eating out of. Now, just for consistency, you don't have to do this, but I am. Line up the boards so they're straight with each other. And you aren't going to drill completely through the top hole, you're just going to mark where your drill goes and drill. What are you talking to? Camera. Oh. <laughs> smaller drill bit because if you don't drill these holes out your plywood board is more likely to split. So I measured the 
sits on my front board, sits in between my two back boards. So it sits just like that. The first thing you've got to do is I'm just going to use a little 2 by 4 box here. It looks like I'm going to do that. Brace it up. This is just to maintain a 90 degree angle across the whole thing. You don't got to go that deep. This is just a pilot hole. And you get your first screw in there loosely. You want it loose so that you can still adjust the board. And you want to hold on to it. I forgot to say that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. I won't go on that far. Now, I'll get the other side of it. I want to try and get these close to a parallel with the other board as you can. Alright. This screw in. perfectly 90 degree first side of your box. Let's sit on there like that. Now do the other one. Now I need just a little bit more of a spacer. Use this. Like I said, this is just for pilots. Now make sure you get the bottom and the top situated apart from each other. That's going to be rather embarrassing. side here. Get a fairly bad crack right there, so I'm gonna drill in the middle of it. tight. Now you got your box. Now one tip I did is that I made this the thickness of a 2x4. You'll see the relevance of that later. Alright, now for the fun part. You gotta line up the back of this with the holes so that you can attach it to the main box. Now I'm going to line it up first. I'm going to trick to line things up. Bring it up to the side. Do a tape measure. Measure the full width of the board. That's about 15 inches. So it'll go about 7.5 inches over to here. This is just to mark out where your box is going to be so it's centered for a picture. 
Now, when you build your own, you can set it off to the side, whatever you want. But I just kind of prefer to have it like that. Now, let me mark it out. Any last time. Right. This time I'm going to take a little, little marker. Mark out where the corner is. Alright. Now this time when you're drilling through the main thick board, use the big drill bit. Just for ease of use. Well, the battery's dead on this drill, so it's going to be fun. I'll be back with a battery. Alright, got a new battery. Now, line up this board with the pilot hole. Now you're going to want to switch out to your little drill bit. Now, like I said before, this little drill bit is just to keep your plywood from breaking apart. screw is in place for this. All right, now I'll go for the top screw on the other side. Again, big drill bit for the main big hole. I can tell there's a new battery in the drill. Just put two screws in the bottom to anchor it down. These ones I am not going to pre-drill with a big drill just because it's easier not to change it out in five seconds. Alrighty, the box is feeling pretty solid on there. Boxes on there. You don't really need to pay too much attention to the bottom. It's better to leave a little bit of air gap in there for drainage of the box if you ever get any moisture in there. And this is really going to be able to pull it up, so you don't got to worry about that too much. So, next piece of business here is the lid. And I know this one may look a little different right now, but that will come after this customization. You can see the lid on this box I made with a 2x4 block and a 2x6 block. The point of this is that when you have the lid on, you can only put it on straight up and down. If you try and pick it up from one side like an animal would, it's not coming up. But you just pick it up straight up at the top, you can refill it without any tools. Now, you're going to make it for this one. This one I already kind of pre-measured a little box for it. A little block. You want basically just the thickness of the bottom board that's sticking out from the top board. So that one's good to go. Now this one. This is the one you need the measurement on. This block, you got to be able to fit inside. It's going to be a little tight fit there. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to have to whittle that down a little bit with the saw. But now, what I really want to do is measure out the inside of the box. Alright, that's about three inches. So, I'm going to come back to you in a second, once I've cut this block. Alright, so, come back, cut the block down to size, so that it fits into there very snugly. Matter of fact, this is probably one of the snuggest ones I made. Now, what i got to do, and what I've already done is measured out where on the block this block is going to fit. 
So it's going to fit right there. Now, what I'm going to do with this block is pre-drill three holes. Three just because you don't need that many. Alright, now I've got this block attached. I want it flush on the back side. Alright, last two screws. This thing is done. Except for aesthetics. Okay, not much is going to pull that up. Alright, now we're attaching it to the tree. We just need to drill two holes pretty close to center, not necessarily on center. These are just going to be run a wire through to hold it onto the tree. Alright, now it is done. Alright, now for aesthetics. I have a cardboard cutout of a squirrel on here. And then to the other side. This, I'm just going to put on here and trace the outline of it onto the board. And that's how you're going to get your aesthetics. So, while I do that, enjoy the music. It might be rock music, so cover your ears. over the head and the chest. Yeah. Put the floor. I'm gonna draw a circle on there. Put an X show them where to stain. <laughs> yeah, that's all you gotta do to apply aesthetics. You can put stickers on here, whatever you want. And now you pretty much got a squirrel figure ready to go. The reason I built this so close is that no squirrel can go in front where you might shoot them and shoot into your box. Other than that, you got a good backstop and it's a solid feeder. Like, pretty much the only movable piece is the lid. Alright. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now we're probably going to kill something. <laughs>